Welcome back everyone. In this lecture, we're going to be looking at understanding scalar and list context. So again, this is section four, lecture eight. So let's jump right into it. So understanding scalar and list context. Now, as Perl is parsing your expressions or values, it always expects either a scalar value or a list value. So for example, scalar context returns one value from an expression. Always remember that a scalar variable or scalar context only returns one value at a time from an expression. So again, for example, if we scroll down here and look at our example, so the scalar variable one only holds 59, it's one value. Or the expression on scalar variable two is 50 plus whatever value is contained inside the scalar variable num. So a list context returns a multiple values from an expression. Now normally it's going to get its values from either an array or a list. So if we look at the first example, we have an array here. So of course an array is pretty much just a variable that holds multiple values or elements that's associated with its values. So the next one is our list context as well by these parentheses around our variable names. And this is very important because this tells Perl that we're creating a list. We want to assign different values to different variables in a list. So again, with the list context, Perl just looks at the expression of the con context and it lets us know if it's going to return multiple values or if it's a list context or a scalar context, which is just a single value. So let's go into some examples now. So first let's start setting up some variables. So I'll declare some scalar variables first. So let me start off with my dollar sign. And again, the dollar sign on a scalar variable also lets Perl know that we're going to be looking at a scalar expression as well. So I'll just name this scalar underscore variable zero one. And I'll just assign it a value. 79 and I'll just copy and paste that and just name it scalar variable underscore two and what I'll actually do I'm going to actually create a, another variable called num and this is going to contain the number let's say 40. So what I'm showing you guys here in our scalar variable 0, 02 is going to calculate an expression. Perl is going to look at 79 plus what value is ever stored in our scalar variable num which is 14. So if we print these values or if we print these variables let's see what happens. So for example, I'll print our last one and let's see what happens. So we run our program, click run, run script, and look, look what we have. We have 119. So again, Perl looked at our expression, which is just a scalar context. So if we actually look at, let's say, an array, and an array holds multiple values, 
and it returns a list context. So let's declare an array. I'll just call it my array. And we'll use my favorite operator, which is quoted words for short, followed by two following forward slashes. And I'll just give it some values. Victor, Jadian, and Forte. Okay, and I'll declare a list as well. I'll call it name 01 and name 02. And again, I'll assign it some values. This time I'll call my value Bobby. And my second one, Harrison. And again, this is a list context because, of course, this is more than one value. And the parentheses on the left that contains our variables are considered a list. So we're assigning multiple variables to multiple values. So again, we can actually again let's test it out by doing a print statement and what I'll do I'll take name one put it in double double quotation marks put my favorite new line character I'll, I'll add a space and do name two save my work click F5 and look what we have, Bobby Harrison. So again, our expression returned a list context because it's more than one value. So I'll try out my array as well to show you guys. So I'll copy my array, put it inside here, our print function, and then I'll run it with F5. So press F5 or function five on your keyboard. And look what we have, Victor, JD, and Forte. So again, it returned a list context, which are multiple values as well. So again, in a nutshell, scalar context really just evaluates and holds one value from an expression. And with list context, it holds multiple values from an expression as well. So again, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let, let me know, and I'll see you guys in our next lecture.